Go well, alright, hello YouTube Lemon is my boy Fast Six Nine Nine. Welcome back to another video. Before we begin, I do want to apologize. Uh, having uh, the loud wind noise and my hair blowing and shirt blowing, my fan is on. It is like 95 degrees outside. It is hot. I just got back from a walk, a uh, lunch and a walk, and it's extremely hot outside right now. And I'm trying to cool off, and I wanted to get this video done. Uh, I made a short video uh, a couple days ago showing off my Hero Academia video collection coming soon and everything. And I thought I decided I would do a three-part video because I have a lot of things I want to show you. Uh, from the DVDs to Funko, to manga, and stuff like that. Uh, so I thought I would do a three-part video. I'm going to record them all at the same time and upload one today, tomorrow, and Thursday. Since I have a little bit of time. So today's May 21st, 2024. Um, I'm uploading this video as the day I'm recording. And tomorrow, I'm up recording them all at the same day. Today I'm uh, I'm recording the all three videos. Today, the 21st, I'm uploading the Funko video. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to upload the uh, DVD video. And the last, on Thursday, I'm going to upload the manga uh, collection. So today, uh, we're, I'm showing off my Hero Academia collection, three-part video. For this video, we're going to be looking at all the Funkos I've had. I actually built this up in like less than a week. Because I'm really into my Hero Academia. It's, I've been, it's been recommended for me non-stop for about a year now. I bought a couple of DVDs but never got around to it. And then I got a subscription to Crunchyroll. And I bought more DVDs and stuff and mangas and all that. And I decided to check out the show myself. And I'm already halfway through the third season. I already know what spoilers and what to expect in the upcoming seasons. Uh, but I am... I love the show. It's absolutely good. Cool. Of course, I love High School DXE way more since there is Groomery tattoo. But I really, really like the show. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna show off my Funko collection here. Here at Academia, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I got two more on the way. Tomorrow, I should get my Bakugo um, Funko, and Wednesday, I should get my Midnight Funko Pop. So we're gonna show the ones I have right now in this video, and also this is gonna be a premiere live. So welcome to the official premiere live. Hopefully everybody's going well. Hello to all the chat. I hope there is no spam or scam or whatsoever. But anyway, let's jump right into the My Hero Academy Funko Collection. First one I want to show you guys is this big one I got because I wasn't expecting it to be this big. But I got an official Mount Lady uh, Funko Pop. I ordered off of Amazon. A lot of these, are, every one of them, I ordered off of Amazon. Um, but I, um, but yeah. This is the Mount Lady Funko Pop. Uh, my brother has a sh crap ton of Funko Pops, and I, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. These are not to be open and everything. And I know a lot of people get the Funko Pop signed because every time I go to a convention, it's a lot more to have a Funko Pop signed for whatever reason. Maybe it's because they're collectible and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, this is a Mount Lady Funko Pop. I picked off off of Amazon. Uh, of course, they have all the other characters you can get in this size as well. Uh, the reason I got Mount Lady because she is voiced by Jamie Markey, the person who plays Rhea's Grimmery from High School DXD. Fun fact, I actually tweeted Jamie Markey my tattoo of High School DXD, and she absolutely loved it. Uh, she retweeted it. She actually showed off a lot of tattoos, but she was the first one who showed this. So hopefully one day uh, uh, she comes to a Comic-Con near my house, whether it be Oklahoma Comic-Con, Northwest Arkansas Comic-Con, stuff like that. She has been to an Arkansas event. She went to the very first Arkansas Co Northwest Arkansas Comic-Con in 2021. I was going to go to it, but I worked at the mall. And it was during Tech 3 weekend, so I didn't, wasn't able to. But I'm friends with a guy who does all these Comic-Cons. And does the main stage Q&A and does everything on there. And I'm friends with him on Facebook. And I talked to him and I said, hey, can you, is it possible if you can uh, uh, get Jamie Marquis to come to either Oklahoma Comic Con or Northwest Arkansas uh, next year? He goes, yeah, I'll definitely look at it. I don't do the booking, but I know who does it, so I'll let you know in the future. So hopefully, uh, we still got a couple of months before Oklahoma Comic Con. They have actually have a really great lineup so far. Uh, of course, uh, Oklahoma, uh, Northwest Arkansas Comic Con was back in January. So hopefully, when Northwest Arkansas Comic Con comes back in January, uh, it all goes well. Maybe I'll be able to go back to Missouri Comic Con. Who knows? But anyway, this is a, uh, a Mint Mount Lady Funko Pop. This is really cool. I think this one costs about 20 bucks. I was looking off at Amazon and GameStop and Best Buy and everything. For some places, some places do the same prices, but the tax, the shipping, the tax is a lot more. So I went to get the version from Amazon. So this is really, really cool. Mount Lady is really, really awesome. I really like the character and everything, but I really love the hell out of Midnight, and I'm absolutely extremely pissed that they killed off the killed off her character. I already know because somebody spoiled it to me, so I looked up the clip. I did a short, funny, short video uh, showing Midnight's death, and the clip of my reaction was pretty much Jack, uh, Jack from Titanic, Leonardo DiCaprio's character, Jack from getting pissed off. But anyway, this is Mount Lady's Funko. The next one we got is uh, main character. These are all main characters from Class One A, but we also got. Uh, Shoto Todoroki, uh, my, this was a birthday gift from my sister, um, that I got during Taco Tuesday, the day after my birthday. Uh, this was like seven, eight bucks at Vintage Dog. Uh, I saw it when I got the Vintage Dog, 
And I'm like, eh, maybe I can ask my sister about get, get it for my birthday and everything. Um, but this is really, really cool. This is a Shoto Tokoroki in hero form. Uh, her, his hair was all spiked up and everything. And of course, I got a lot of these other characters I'm going to get. <coughs> but I don't want to open up the packaging and everything because a lot of these Funkos could be worth lots of money. I have no idea. Not really. But I just open it up. I leave them on display. And I would try to get a shelf. But I have so much crap on my wall. As you can see right over here, it is so not funny. I got so much crap on the wall. So, And at the end of the video, I'm gonna actually going to show you one more thing I have because it's hanging up on the wall. But anyway, this is Shoto Tokoroki's um, Funko Pop. He had issues with um, uh, Deku during the first and second season, but he slowly came around to be his friend and everything, so thumbs up for that. Uh, that is Shoto Tokoroki in the back and everything, all the other characters, so that's the back. Next up, we got who I want to show off. And eh, I'm going to show off him because I already know. This is Yuga a Yanama, and um, apparently everybody loves the crap out of him. Not the, not on the show, but, but all the people who watch My Hero Academia love the crap out of him. I am not going to lie, when I first watched the show and saw his character, I thought he was a girl, and then I heard his voice, I'm like, oh shit. Um, but uh, somebody also, I also found out that he actually is on, spoiler alert by the way, uh, he actually joins the villain side, joins the villains later on in the show. I don't know if this is his hero form or his, um, uh, villain form, but uh, he had the he had no choice but to join the villain form. I don't know why I'm not far into the series uh, show yet, uh, but apparently said it's a heartbreaking betrayal. So, but this is Yuga. This was the cheapest one. It was like seven bucks on um, Amazon and everything. So, uh, very very cool and everything. Uh, I was not a fan of him at first, but I slowly came around to really liking him. Uh, I wouldn't say one of my favorite characters in the show, but I can see why people really really like him. So that is Yuga. Next up we got is Momo something other. Yayo Yorizuru. I don't know how to pronounce these um, names, but this is Momo. Uh, hence the name from the uh, uh, scary meme that came that came out about five years ago when it had a Momo chicken thing, whatever. What the hell's this shit? Uh, but this is Momo something vinyl figure. I ordered off this Amazon. I was I got fifty dollar. I got eighty dollars worth of Amazon gift cards for my birthday uh, this year, which was way too much than, I, than it should have been. Uh, so I thought, hey, I'll order, order some Funko. So I bought like six, seven Funkos, and these are all the Funkos that I got from Amazon and everything like that. The only one I didn't get from Amazon is the Shoto Toriyuki and a couple of other ones. Uh, but this is Momo. She's actually voiced by Colleen Klinderblack. Who plays in the very one of the very first animes I ever watched with Jimmy Markey called Rand Daughter of Missouri, uh, something like that. Um, but apparently, people really like this character. She is an intelligent, smart person who has really cool uh, superpowers. So that is Momo. Next up, we got is Fumiki G. Tokiyama. Now, this is the bird eagle guy. Uh, he's he seems like a nice guy and he's got a really deep voice. Fun fact: he's actually voiced by J uh, Jesse Grail, Grail, who voiced Issei in season three and four of High School DxD before transitioning from male to female. So he she is a transgender uh, person and she goes by um, she he, she her and them or they and them pronouns. Which I think she wanted to do more uh, female roles, which that's understandable and everything. So, uh, but I've heard a lot of people even where, see, when they said before she transitioned that she was a very uh, hilarious person. Who knows? Maybe she still is. We'll see. Uh, but this is uh, Fumaki Tokiyomo, and I was talking to somebody, and they said that this that he was their uh, favorite character, and I can see why. This one is an anime exclusive, and it also glows in the dark. I also got this from Vantage Stock, so I think they said it was new, but who knows? They could have been open. I have no idea, but this is Fuki, Fuki G Tokiyomo. Next up we got is actually personally one of my favorite characters and that is Mina Ashidoto. Fun fact, when I attended the Reserve Comic Con, I attended Caitlin Glass's panel. Now, I only know Caitlin Glass from one show at the time and that was Purse An Burst, An per Burst Angel, a show she did with Monica Rial and Jamie Marquis. And uh, apparently everybody else knows her as Mina from My Hero Academia. So when I went up to her booth and what I wanted, I kind of even up between getting a Mina um, uh, autograph, even though I didn't watch My Hero Academia three, four, or five months ago, or get an autograph from Scott Irons who plays Scooby, who plays Shaggy and Scooby Doo and Scooby Doo and the Witches Ghost. 
Of course, I went to Scott Eyes because I knew more about Scooby Doo than my here academia. So hopefully, Caitlin Glass comes to another Comic Con where I live, and um, uh, and get, maybe I get an autograph from her. So hopefully, one of these days, I'll be able to see her again and uh, get an autograph as me and that because she's slowly become one of my favorite characters, and I can see people really, really love her. Um, but anyway, this is Mina Ashirado, voiced by Caitlin Glass. I was in the same room as her, talked to her for a minute, asked her questions and everything. Of course, my dumbass didn't knew nothing about my hero academia. I only knew her from one small role from Burst Angel. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is a really cool one. Uh, uh, like I said, she's slowly become one of my favorite characters, if not personally my favorite character. She's so nice, upbeat, and positive, and so kind of anyone like mine is uh, Yuga. Uh, we, if you watch the show, you know what you know. Uh, but this is really cool Funko, so very nice. So that is Mina Ashidoto. I just hit my microphone. Next up, we got... I'll show him last. Next up, we got, again, another one of my favorite characters. It's Sue. Just Sue. Uh, this is a frog. Frog girl who is able to have powers with frog. You know, have really long tongues, stick to walls, and everything like that. Uh, I knew her voice sounded familiar at first when I first watched the show because she is voiced by Monica, as I said before, voiced by Monica Rial, who played Joe in Burst Angel, uh, and also Stalking and Panty and Stalking. Uh, I did a short video of the, I jumped on the train of same, same voice actor videos, and I showed a clip from her as Joe from Burst Angel versus a few second clip from Burst, uh, from Panty and Stalking, which it still blows my mind that she does this, Panty and Stalking, and even Joe from Burst Angel because they don't even sound like her actual voice. Uh, but this is Sue. She's probably my, one of my, Actually, she's probably one of my favorite characters in the show, right up there with Mina. Uh, she is really cool, and every time she says ribbit, it's like the cutest thing ever. And I really like the design of this Funko. I really like her tongue sticking out, and when she does that, uh, does that like that, it's very, very cute and adorable. Uh, so that is Sue. Sorry if I hit my microphone. Next up we got is a couple of friends I know who they say this favorite character, and this is Ochako Yurikaga. Something like that. I'm bad at pronouncing names. She is the main female character in Best Friends with Deku. And um, when I played the um, uh, the fucking uh, uh, Witch Hat Man Hero Academia, because with that video was so bad and so like, I do apologize for that shitty video. Uh, this was the character I got. I really like her positivity and up and the reason she wants to be a hero is because of money. But you don't do it you unless you're a, unless you're a teacher. You do only do your job for money. And that's the only reason I do my job and I make money. And I, I make decent money. But anyway, uh, of course, luckily when I have a job and make my own money, all I got to pay is my phone bill. And um, I get to uh, get all this cool stuff like this on my wall and stuff like that. But that is okay. Check out. You can uh, And the last two I'm going to show you is two characters, which I decided to get two of them because why not? I got Izuku, Midoriya, and Deku, which is pretty much the same character and everything. One of them is a Hot Topic exclusive. Yes, these are two different characters. These are two different positions. One is he's standing and getting ready to fight, and the other one, he's just standing. Uh, both have the same expressions and everything, so very, very cool. Uh, but anyway, very, very nice and everything. So that is um, Deku and Izuku, Midoriya, same character. So that is all my Funko Pops that I had for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I apologize that this video went on uh, way too longer than it should have been. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow and you will see the uh, uh, Blu-ray uh, Blu-ray collection of My Hero Academia uh, for that. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to thumbs up, comment down below. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on my future video. Take it easy.